Welcome to The Open Way. I'm starting this new series of videos in which I want to share with you the benefits of many years of experience I've had as a physicist, as a singer-songwriter, as a spiritual teacher. I've now turned 75. Now that I'm a wizened old man, it's time for me to be the wizard and share the wisdom of years. So in this, the year that I turned 75, I came out with the, I've got this new book that's been published called Super Energy in the Quantum Vortex. And at the same time, I've launched a new album of my songs called Balm for the Soul. And I want to share with you the benefit of both of those creations. I mean, if there's a lesson I want to teach you, and that is you're never too old to realise your dreams. Because what I've done this year in my new book and my album is what I've been wanting to achieve for decades. And it's wonderful to have this medium with which I can share with you my joy and the celebration of this music and this new physics, this new science. So really what I want to do is go a little bit further than just the academic. I want to go a little bit further with my music than just entertainment. I want to teach you a way, an open way, a way that doesn't involve belief, a way that is not sectarian, a way that is a combination of science and spirituality, a way that will uplift you and help you increase your frequency of ascension. Because the planet is ascending, whether we like it or not. And if we want to ascend with the planet, we have to increase our frequency at the same rate as the planet. And she's not hanging back. She's not hanging around for us. So I want to give you tools that will help you on your journey. And there is actually only one way. And that is the inner way. We're very involved in the external world. But that's not the way I'm talking about. It's not the career. It's not the successes out there. The way is the way home. And home lies within. So I'm going to help you go within. By teaching you a very, very simple method of internalizing and connecting with your own true inner self. By spending time focusing on the reality within, the source of all that you are, that I am, that we are. You will bring yourself to that place of self-realization, of invincibility, where nothing will freak you out. Because as the planet goes through into her ascension process, she's going to be shaking off a lot of this civilization that doesn't, is no longer congruent with her new vibrations. And part of the process is for us not to be phased by the changes that are going on around us. And for that, we need to be strong in our internal connection. We need to build the inner castle. 
And that's what I'm doing with this series. So at the end of every single episode in this series, I will come back to the same message, the same stuck record <laughs> of just going over the technique again and again and again. Because it's repetition that works. Because we tend to get distracted, we tend to forget. And if you get bored with what I'm saying, you don't have to listen. <laughs> but I don't think you will. I think you'll love it. So what I've done is I've produced an album of songs called Balm for the Soul. And they are not just for entertainment. They are a beautiful production. Thanks to my dear friend Duncan Bridgman, who I worked with on this album. Very creative. But the idea is that the songs are there as a meditation. They are there to carry you on a journey. You see, what I'm going to teach you, which you may already know, but what I'm going to teach you is going to meet with resistance. There's a part of you that is going to resist. It's called the ego. You're not going to want to st sit still. There's a part of you that's going to want to distract you. The mind is going to be running round. The monkey in your head. The voice that never stops chatting. I've been meditating since the early 70s. And it's the hardest thing. It's the simplest thing. But it's the hardest thing to do because my mind won't let me keep stopping me, keeps chattering away. So I've got a way around that. All you have to do when you're practicing this technique of meditation I'm going to teach you is put the earplugs in your ears, clip it into your device. Go on to Spotify or Bandcamp or iTunes or wherever you go to get this album. Make yourself comfortable and you sit down and you play the album. And what happens is the songs still your mind. They take your attention away from whatever you're thinking. They wash your thoughts away. Obviously, you have to make a bit of an effort not to be thinking. You have to let go of your thoughts. But once you get into the music, it takes you to a deep place within, if you allow it to. And over time, you'll find it easier and easier not to think because the music is filling your head with prayer. And the songs are connecting you with their prayers to deities. They're multi-faith songs, but they're dedicated. Starts off with Sananda, also known as Yeshua, which is his name when he was on the planet 2,000 years ago. Also known as Jesus, also known as Michael. He's the same being. And he doesn't care which name you use. Then there's Mary, his mother. Then there's Kuan Yin, the goddess of mercy and compassion from China. She's beautiful. She's gorgeous. Then there's Shiva. I love Shiva. <laughs> He's my personal deity. Then there's Buddha and Krishna. Beautiful rendition of Om Namah Shivata Shiva and of the Hare Krishna man mantra. And then there's Saint Germain and the Violet Flame, Mary Magdalene. So these are all family, they're all friends. They're beings on higher levels of energy, higher vibrational states, if you like. They are in the ascended state, they are in the fifth dimension where we're going to. And we develop our connection with them 
through these songs. All you've got to do is listen to the songs. You don't have to worry about praying anymore, you see. Because the songs do the praying for you. All you've got to do is listen. And if you listen on a regular basis, you'll find these songs will be singing away in your head in the day. And actually, instead of being bothered by a lot of thoughts, you've got these songs going around in your head, which are prayers, connecting you. The first one is, Sananda, we pray, help us on the way. <laughs> That's what we need. We need some help on the way. And that is what the open way is all about. Giving you a hand, helping you on the way. Now, if you have issues about religion, don't worry. This is not a religion. You don't have to believe in anything. If you've got any questions, I've got this book. Super energy in the quantum vortex. I can explain Yeshua, Kuan Yin, Saint Germain in terms of quantum physics. It's all there in this book, which I published to go along with the album. So if you think there's, to be scientific, you have to be an atheist or an anti spiritual or materialistic, you got it wrong. Einstein blew out materialism over a century ago. The science that I'm showing you, which is actually been proven in my physics according to the scientific method, the physics I'm showing you, which is really easy to understand, supports spirituality, supports the higher levels. And the proof is in that book in near-death experiences. Listen to the near-death experiences if you doubt. We are going somewhere. This is not our home. We are here to learn lessons, to gain experiences. We're, it's like we're at boarding school. But the term is coming to an end. We're actually sitting our examinations at this stage, but it's so close to the end that they're actually collecting in the papers. So it's a bit late in the day to be starting, but never too late to learn. And the biggest lesson for us to learn is the lesson of love. And that's what we're here to do, is to learn to love. And that's what I'm trying to do, is to give you the best of what I have to offer, out of love, because I love you. <laughs> Do you know why? Because we're the one being in the many bodies. You are me and I am thee. That's what I can prove in the quantum physics. We're all here in the many bodies going through a multitude of different experiences, but we're the same being, looking out of these eyes, hearing through these ears. We are the supreme consciousness that's created the entire universe, looking out of our eyes, hearing through our ears. <laughs> it's all a game. <laughs> we take it all so seriously, the stuff that's going on out there, look, it's just PlayStation. It's just a virtual reality. Energy, everything's formed of energy. And energy has no substance. It has no mass. It's not a thing. It's a no thing. <laughs> this world we're in is a dream. When you get to the next world, you f this dream fades away. The Aborigine, he's got it right. <laughs> so without further ado, I'll 
I'll conclude this introduction with the technique. Very simple. Download, it's best to download Balm for the Soul from Bandcamp, that's my recommendation. So you've got it on your device. The trouble is that if you listen with your notifications on, if you're listening on the cloud, if you do Spotify and things like that, you're going to be interrupted unless you switch all your notifications off. But if you've got the album downloaded, it's in on your on your device. And you can listen to it any time. So you put in your earpieces, make yourself comfortable. And the first thing you do is you lift your tongue so it points to the palate. Don't touch the palate. Just simply, so it's comfortable, just curl it back. This is a Tai Chi technique, a Qigong technique, comes from China. It's all to do with the Qi, which is the life force. And what it does is it aligns the light force, life force up so that everything is in alignment. It's the position of power, it aligns your energy. And it also creates a barrier between your head, all this thinking stuff going up here, and your heart, which is where you are going. <laughs> Once the music plays and you've just got your tongue curled back, just flow into your breath. Just let your attention go into the breath. Let the music wash over you. Don't be in judgment about the songs or the production. Just enjoy it. Let it fill your heart with joy and celebration. And just breathe, not in any special way, but just allowing the breath to go slow and deep. And feel into your breath, into the source of your life at the bottom of your breath. And as your tongue is up, it'll help you go deeper and feel stronger. And you'll feel a presence. You'll feel a fulfillment and enjoyment. You'll feel the joy within you, the fullness within you of your life force. And it will uplift you. And it will help you come into alignment with your true self. It will help anxieties, worries to fall away. It will help you to experience the love that passes all understanding, the peace that passes all understanding. You are infinitely loved and cared for because you're the source of infinite love in your true reality. You're just going within to find yourself with a little bit of help from your friend here. <laughs> so it's that simple. Just go into your breath. And remember, just to, rather than just have your tongue lying down, just have your tongue pointing up. Just curl the tip of your tongue up. Just do it now. Feel into your breath, slow and deep. And this is the way of Lao Tzu, or Qigong, the way taught by the gurus, the yogis. The best of the East coming into the West. So have joy and stay tuned. Namaste.